Now, Ben's just given me the, uh, the firm talking to after my rehearsal that I've got to stick to five minutes. <laughs> Fuck you, Ben, I've got the microphone. Yeah! 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 up. Who's been chased through a car park by a Christian method? Anyone? <laughs> well, have I got a fucking tail for you? So, this is very fresh. This happened Sunday, straight after my first... It's, it's, it's no secret, right? We started on Sunday. We've been working through the course. It's graduation night. So, Sunday night, we go overtime. And I love it, because Ben has gone overtime every single night this week. We've gone about two hours over. So, um... Thanks a lot, Ben. <laughs> Almost got fucking killed because of you, cunt. <laughs> <Anyways. laughs> so, it's 11 o'clock at night and I'm heading to the car park and I've raced out because I've actually uh, had a really important phone call to London. Uh, Bonnie Lithgow, massive producer of American Idol, and I'm hustling, I'm hustling my heart out to try and get this tiny little four-minute part in her Sleeping Beauty new pantomime. So I'm walking up to the car, I'm not super aware of my surrounds, I'm walking with a classmate and um, he's gone and got his ticket. I'm on the phone hustling and I've finally managed to sort all of that, sort all the ticket out. I've gotten back in my car, I've hung up the phone to London and all of a sudden a guy walks past and, you know, he's classic, classic Melbourne, you know, the, the North Face Park jumper or Park jacket. He's got black jeans, white cons, Nike duffel bag. Um, yeah, just classic. Got the hood on with a massive wrap around almost like mirrored ski goggles. And automatically I get like this, quite a weird feeling to be honest. I was like, oh shit, this doesn't feel right. I'm not vibing this, like this. He's definitely a weirdo. And then naturally my next thought process was like, hmm, he's actually fucking hot. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> so, now what I should have done then there is actually, <laughs> I probably should have locked the door. Um, <laughs> I should have found that central locking. But what I did do instead was call my partner. Now, I've just got um, given a car, which is a pretty big deal. I've just got given a car, hashtag we're in Mitsubishi. Woo! So um, I'm not really aware of all the functionalities, don't know how all the nuts and bolts work. And I'm very unaware of how loud Bluetooth is. So, and that my phone's actually hooked up to it. So I've rung. And, and this guy, ha you know, in all seriousness, he, he's actually, you know, sort of pacing up and down at this point. And I'm like, fuck, oh, it's pretty weird. And he's, uh, <laughs> And so I've rung, and the phone's just gone boop, boop, like that, and he can hear that, and he's just arced up and looks straight at me, fierce. I mean, like, I can even see this part of it, and he is fierce. And, you know, clearly, I've, uh, the ring has just sent him in some sort of psychotic meth head psychosis. <laughs> he, he's just, it's, it, it, it's the trigger. And um, I, there's two Emmy Lou's that have come out in this story. So there's the one Emmy Lou, I'm almost 40, got three kids under seven, I'm a little, you know, been living the cushy life in Albert Park. <laughs> Gifted a car, spend most of my time on Instagram. Um, and I, I'm trying to be polite. So the phone's rung and I'm, I, I'm smiling and being really subtle. I'm like, hey, babe. Um, and I'm smiling so that, you know, um, Dino, and that's that's what I've named him, I like to name my attackers. Um, <laughs> just sort of fantasise about him later. <laughs> And I'm like, look, I, I think, you know, there's something really weird going on here. And I'm smiling. And I'm not wanting to look down to try and find the central locking on my, on my right. And Aaron's sort of caught on to it. And he's like, lock the fucking door, lock the fucking door. I'm like, shh, fuck, don't offend me. I'm like, oh, And I'm like, oh, nah. And, uh, like, you know, so by this point, the car's on. And I'm looking around for the arrows. But it's a big car. And I, fuck, I don't know where I am. And it's in a tight car park. So I've started to edge forward. And as I've edged forward, Dino started to do these ones. Like, you know, which, which way are you going to go? So then the second Emmy Lou comes out. Second Emmy Lou is, I've been out of home since I was 14 years old. I'm pretty street smart. I've lived an extremely colourful background. And I'm also almost 40 with three kids under seven. And I just don't have time for this fucking shit at the end of the day. So all of a sudden, everything, all the rage starts fucking building up. I'm like, are you going, me, cunt? Are you fucking, are you cutting mouse in there right now? 
right now, because I tell you what, I've got a fucking seven year old at home whose sole purpose is to fucking win at Tiggy. So <laughs> if, if you want to fucking play Tracy, I'll, I'll fucking, let's go, because I'm in a fucking car and you're in a pair of ski goggles. <laughs> So there's, there's, there's two sides of it. And then the other side comes back and I'm like, fuck, if I dent this car, it's just going to go off. Like, we're in this tight car park. I don't know where to go. So I'm edging really, and I'm trying to go nicely around him. And he's fucking jeering at me. So anyway, I come round the bend and I, I find the arrow and I'm on the home straight. Now, Dino's cotton on to this and he's like, fuck, she's going to slip through my fingers. And so he's just started sprinting towards the car in this rage. Like, and this psychotic, like, whoa, like fucking screaming. And I have, in all honesty, Scream so loud, and I'm just shrilling at this point. And then there's the other part where I'm gonna run you over, motherfucker. Let's fucking go. And then he's just launched at the car to try and open the door. The door is not locked, the car is not locked, and, and that's not a word of a lie. The central locking is not on. Anyway, so I've swerved him, I've missed him, and he's he's launched, still screaming, like really this screaming. I just couldn't get it out of my head. And he's missed the car. And you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking. Fuck, if the zip of his duffel bag fucking scratches his car, I am so fucked right now. Like, that's, that's, I'm, like, I'm like, oh, and I just missed him. I'm like, fuck, God, I just missed him. And I've, I've sort of just taken off. And he's screaming. I can see him on a vision mirror. He's screaming, like running. And there's part of me that's slightly impressed because I, I couldn't scream and run at the same time at that type of speed. You know, like the physical fitness of this guy. And then he, as he's reached the fucking, the, the jacket's come up and, oh, that's right, there's a fucking six pack under there. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so then I've gone around and I've gone to the, the gate. So I've lost sight of him because I have, I have been able to outdrive him. And I can still hear him screaming. Now I've, I've composed myself enough to look down at that point because I'm at the gate and I've got to scan my ticket and I've pushed the central locking at that point. Now you've got to remember the car I had before this one, this car's a week old. The car I had before this one was a 1999 Calais. So I've hit the window not realise, realising that they think I'm at a fucking Macca's drive through so the whole window's gone all the way down. I'm like, fuck, no, just a little bit, just a little bit. I'm trying to get my fucking ticket. I just want to get out. So I ended up getting out. I can hear him screaming in the background. I've come around the corner, and my first thought were the two other girls that were in the course. And so I've pulled up um, on, on the front of Chapel Street, and I've run across the road, and thank God for Murray. You know, Murray, like, his fucking hair stands out. Like, that's twin tip windows, and his hair's like a fucking beacon. I'm like, oh, shit, he's still here, thank God. So I've run across... I got in there and I'm like, this fucking guy, fucking, and then I'm trying to explain it, and then here comes fucking Dino casually strolling past the window. I'm like, that motherfucker! I've been in the car driving. He's been sprinting, fucking terrorising me, screaming. He's not puffed at all. Like, oh, oh, it's just, this is amazing. So anyway, so then they've gone out. They've actually detained him. I want to say a big thank you to, to all the guys that did that. We called the cops. It's a true story. So they did, they did detain him. And um, I love it. The cops, like, give me a call because there's no way I was going to go down the end of chapel where he was detained. And, and they've rung me and they're just like, look, we didn't find a weapon. Blah, blah. We found a lot of money. And I'm like, fucking just... Yeah, my radar's definitely dead on still from when I was about 19 years old. Loaded, good looking, crazy as fuck. Um, <laughs> yeah, I haven't, haven't matured at all. So then, um, yeah, so, so basically that, that, that's happened. And, and, and Murray, God bless him. The next day, you know, he's asked me to regale the group with my tail. And then after that, he's kind of followed it up with, you know, and so guys, I want you to, I want you to get your, you know, everyone down here. I want you to tell everyone on your social media about your thing. And I'm like, fuck, dude, I've got like 23,000 followers on my Instagram. The, the likelihood of Dino being one of my followers is pretty fucking high because I didn't Insta story after it all happened. I fucking geotagged where I was. So <laughs> I've probably shown up on the Chapel Street story. So I was like, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. And I... There's two things, like, you know, I was told to finish strong. I don't really have a fucking ending to this. I've had nightmares ever since. So, um, <laughs> the only thing I can think of to tell you right now is, one, I got the fucking part sleeping beauty. <laughs> and two, if you're ever wanting to, I don't know, get a crystal meth chasing you in a car park and tick that off your bucket list, I can highly re recommend that fucking car park behind us because, mate, it's $2 an hour. Go for gold. Thank you so much. I'm